Uh, hello, welcome to today's episode. So basically it's how to grow a tax prep business. So I wanted to really share some of the things that I've learned from running a accounting, bookkeeping, and tax business. Um, some things where if I would have known some of this stuff when I first got started, it would have been way easier to actually grow and, and reach my goals. Um, yeah, also if you want some help growing your business, like maybe you've been thinking about growing your business, it's just not quite going the way that you want, or you know, you feel that if you did have like a better process, you'd be able to actually grow it a lot faster. If that's something that you think would be helpful for you, go ahead and click the link inside the description other above below the video to see if our mentorship program can be a good fit for you and like, you know, what you're trying to do in your business. So um, first I want to start off with the student spotlight. Um, so I want to shout out James. So James actually got his third client and he was, I think he got like a 9% return on, on, on his um, Forex trading last week. So some of our students, they do a mixture of like, first they grow their business, then they have other like investments. Like some people do real estate, some people do like investing, uh, stocks, Forex, futures, options, etc., etc. So it's kind of cool when you see someone who not only is building their business, but is also able to take the money they're getting from their business and then make more money with that by investing. So cool. So today, in terms of building and growing your tax prep business, I want to talk about a rookie mistake a lot of people make. And it's not having multiple services to really take advantage and capture the maximum money you can make from the energy generated from the busy tax season. So most people and most beginners in business, they only think about like, what is the first thing they can sell, right? experienced intermediate and advanced business owners always think about like what is the second thing I can sell because the first thing is going to generally generate like some you know revenue inside the business but the volume of it as well as like the profit margins in a lot of cases are not going to be that great it's really the second thing that not only increased your revenue but also increases like the profit that you had and I'm kind of fidgeting on this desk because um I it used to be like pristine I, I, I found it brought it back had it painted everything so painted myself and then i had like one of my uh nephews came over and like literally was like gluing some stuff so i was like glue all over this desk and uh these like little pieces of paper i'm like come on man what are we doing here what are we doing here so i don't really film on this desk as much anymore as what i could and what i probably will in the future as soon as i can like get this thing all cleaned up and just back to the pristine condition with which it was when i first got it you know so that's that's the most important thing right because Oftentimes what happens with most people when they're starting a tax business is that, you know, they can get, you know, like 20, 30, 30 of these like different like uh, tax, um, tax returns. So let's say you're doing like, let's say that you somehow got a hundred tax returns. So a hundred tax returns, we'll say times $300. Okay. That's $30,000. Now that's not bad if this is just something you're doing like part time, but if you want to be able to actually run a business full time, most people need about 60, 70. So you almost need to double that. Now, in a lot of cases, most people struggle with that because number one, like, yes, the time, yes, that is a significant amount of money, but the time frame with which you get it is so condensed. If you could have an extra two, four, six months of that, okay, you could definitely get to like maybe like 60 grand, 70 grand a year. But even then, trying to get to a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars very, very hard. So the way that we actually get around that is by offering monthly services like bookkeeping, payroll, AR management, invoicing, um, sales and use tax, etc., etc. So more of the monthly services that can keep, like when someone pays me, they don't ever have to stop paying me money. So it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, right? And let's say, so for me, for all the students we coach in our mentorship program, we encourage people to charge between five hundred to five thousand dollars per month per client, right? So let's say that you have one client that stays with you for one year, right? That's six thousand dollars. It's five hundred times twelve is six thousand dollars. That is the equivalent of 20 tax returns. 20 tax returns at $300, right? So every single one of the clients we get, it just keeps adding more and more and more and more and more. And then your income becomes more stabilized, right? We get a lot of students that come to our program that like were doing like taxes their main thing. And like maybe they got like, you know, a few like 5,000, 10,000, but they really want to go and get to that six figure level. And that's really the only thing that you need to do is just really add that extra service inside of there. Right, because I mean that that's the biggest thing. Now, now a business lesson that that I learn, I'm constantly reminded of, 
you have to use low ticket services, low dollar services, like anything below, anything below about a thousand dollars per service is what we would consider like a low ticket service. And that can be anywhere from like a dollar to like a thousand dollars as the total, the total life like um, value of the sale, right? Now, why is that significant? It's because um, in order for you to actually like make a significant stream of money, you need to be able to like have one client give you like 6,000, 10,000, 12,000, 20,000, 40,000. Cause then that one client takes care of majority of your bills, majority of like the, the, the expenses you have in your life, right? And then what I actually use taxes for, and this is something that we don't really talk that much about it, but we definitely are going to start talking more about as we start, you know, talking more about like taxes to bookkeeping is I actually use the income I make from the tax season to pay for advertising for bookkeeping and for the monthly services. So let's say that I know that my cost to get a new client with advertisements is about $500. Okay, so if I made $5,000 for the tax season, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go and get 10 clients, right? Because I'm just going to put that $500 in 10 times. So I just got 10 clients and that's $6,000 um, per year per client. That's $60,000 I just made off that $5,000, um, um, you know, influx from the tax revenue. Now, the cool thing about that is rather than having to go get a bunch of tax returns, if you just go after people that already owe like back taxes, whether it's like business or personal, you're already getting a pretty big chunk. So like we had this one guy uh, a couple weeks ago, he basically was six years behind. Um, so we charged him about, I think it's like 2,500, I believe, about $2,500, $2,700. And I mean, that went a long way. That basically brought in $30,000 a year worth of revenue, right? So it's like every single time I get a tax client, it's like, I don't see the tax, the tax prep itself. I see every dollar turns into $12, turns into 10 to 12, between 10 to about about $14 um, per year, right? Because there's other thing. We're not just getting $6,000, that's 500 times 12. What if they stay for 24 months? Will they stay for 36 months, right? So 6,000, 6,000, 6,000. So if they stay for two years, that's $12,000 just gave me. If they stay for three years, that is $18,000. From one client paying me $500 a month that I got from $500 in ad spend from two tax returns. You know what I mean? So it's like you, when you start thinking more like that, you're gonna grow your business a lot faster. And yes, you will have to kind of evolve past tax se- or tax season tax prep, but it's a much easier kind of way to kind of run the business and to like really live your life. So really theoretically, if you can just do like maybe one tax season at five thousand dollars that you earn from the taxes, and then you do that two years in a row, you should be at six figures in your business for bookkeeping, right? If you just reinvest the $5,000 and that $5,000 turns into $60,000 and then you do that the second year. So you make another $5,000. Maybe you don't even get new tax clients. Maybe you get the same tax clients to pay you again for that 5,000. Now you go get $60,000 worth of new bookkeeping clients. Now you're seeing 120 per year on top of the 10 or 5,000. So you're 125,000 per year. And every single year, just keep repeating that that amount, right? Now, there will come a point to where you do have to bring on like contractors underneath you, right? Because most people most people are gonna cap out right when they get about like 10 to 12 grand per month worth of work they generally you know maybe don't want to do it themselves anymore just because they, they're making so much money it just doesn't really make sense one thing I've noticed like once you kind of get past a certain revenue now around usually it's like once you get past about like six extra bills you start getting a little bit of bougie and you generally don't want to do a lot of the stuff that you would have done in the past uh, if that makes sense so it's just one of those things and you're kind of constantly fighting that urge not to get bougie and just like really stay focused and work really hard, you know? Um, but it just kind of depends. Life can get, you know, a really, really good kind of spot. And it's like, really, once you get to that point, it's about how can you maintain your focus and not get too distracted with life. Or if you do get distracted with life, just make sure you have a recurring revenue service, which is why we're doing bookkeeping, okay? So hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, This has been the Bookkeeping Business Secrets Podcast. Also, if you want some help implementing any of the stuff that we've been talking about inside this video, uh, how to go and add bookkeeping services, how to do bookkeeping, how to price your bookkeeping services, how to sell bookkeeping services, and you know that if you had someone who knows what they're doing, if you had someone that's a little bit further ahead than where you are now, it could pull you up to your six-figure goal or wherever your goal is a lot faster, would that be helpful? 
If the answer is yes, then I just invite you to go ahead and book a call to go see if our mentorship program can be the right one for you and to reach your goals, okay? If that's you, I'd love to see you on the call. If it's not you, that's okay too. I'll see you inside of the next podcast episode. Take it easy. Talk to you soon.